Hello, this is Pietro again. This time I'm trying to entertain you on, uh, on what it is my dream, personal air mobility. Let me, let, let, let me start from, from uh, uh, my, my experience uh, when I was director of Centro Cerchi Fiat. I was uh, obliging all my, my students to spend one, two hours uh, uh, studying uh, uh, fl uh, flying cars or developing concept of flying cars. We are talking about 30 years ago when uh, the term personal air mobility was still not coined. Nobody was using this terminology at that time. So it, we, we were indeed pioneering the, the, the field. Now, the concept was to develop uh, a, an air vehicle which was just uh, about the, the same uh, dimension of, uh, of a car, and, but uh, giving you the freedom in, in, uh, in, three, in three dimension. So I was uh, uh, looking at what people were doing at the time uh, and was laughing at what uh, specifically the British were, were doing, let's say, looking at, at let's say, bird watching, saying they, 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 it was a very, a very, uh, it was a, a sort of sport, bird watching. And I said, I am to also uh, try to understand my, myself what we have to learn from, from the birds. But I was looking uh, uh, at the birds in a, in a slightly different way. The people were looking at, bo at the birds when flying. I was looking at the birds when walking. Uh, and I discovered an uh, interesting stuff that birds when walking do not really walk. They jump a little. They jump and walk, jump and walk. That's an important uh, thing that uh, um, I learned. And uh, that I am now implementing in all new new vehicles. Uh, so it is uh, a walking and jumping airplane. This is really really non convenient because I started looking at how the birds do it. Why why that was uh, was was important because uh, the energy needed to elevate an airplane vertically is not that high, but because it is done in few seconds, the power you need is very high. And if it is, if this is done from a, a battery, then you ruin the battery. And this is today the main, the main aspect. So I needed to learn how to avoid to damage the battery, teaching the airplane to jump at the very, the very first fraction uh, of a second. And that came looking at, uh, looking at uh, how birds are walking, not how birds are flying. So that's, uh, uh, as I was saying, the, this is my, it was my dream. It is my, my dream. Uh, I spent all my life working in an automotive company, uh, forcing the students uh, working on, uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, flying cars. Now we are coming to, uh, we're coming to the point. And uh, um, I can say this, uh, this is the future of mobility, no doubt. I spent... Uh, almost all my life asking myself, what do I really want in terms of uh, flying vehicles? I want to be honest, I still do not have a precise answer. But also being honest, I'm saying oh, what we are developing today is really unique. Learning from how the bird walks, because I generalize the technology that we are using uh, to let the airplane to walk and walk and jump to also implement a new form of uh, uh, propulsion. So the message is uh, the future is personal air mobility. It's not the air taxi as people are talking about in this, uh, in this period. It's personal air mobility because freedom comes before everything else. And when you interview people and you ask uh, what they think the, the, the transportation is, whether it is road transportation or air, it is moving without too many dependencies. Carpooling, uh, air pooling or air sharing and the like will never, will never compete with personal air mo mobility. This is the message, personal air mobility and electromobility. This is what I would encourage everybody to, to study because there's no doubt the new technology, whether it is uh, intelligent uh, uh, 
device, interconnected devices, whether it is the new form of uh, energy storage, are leading all into the, the same direction, personal air mobility.